It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risechan. If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. <laughs> that bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm alright. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Ah, okay. Also heute nicht Adachi verfolgen. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> um... Rise-chan? Are you faking? No, stupid! S sorry I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me. And that world. I wanted to tell you all. You listen to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. That he was only a shadow. And that though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yep. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Wh what are you saying? Here I am, pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that anyway? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way, but you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. Uh, I'm the same as humans? 
You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> Isn't that just you, Senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Gee, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Wow. I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Alright, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy! You're taking another step forward to the truth. Bam! As seekers of truth, Social Link has reached level 6. Your power to create persona personas of the Judgment Arcana has grown. Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decided to go home for today. So, speichern wir nochmal. Während dem Gespräch ist mir was eingefallen. Das nächste Person kommt ja erst nächstes Jahr. Ich dachte, das kommt schon dieses Jahr. Ist halt blöd. It would be best to go to sleep early and get ready for the mass exploration. Jawohl! Ich dachte eigentlich, dass ich dieses Jahr schon... Uh, aufnehmen kann mit Persona 5. Aber anscheinend nicht. You fully recovered from yesterday's events. You should go over to the tea world with everyone after school. I'll give it a try, but if Risei-chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Hmm. I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! Hmm. Oh, I'm getting something! Super Saiyan Teddy! Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around! You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells, but 
That's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei Yosuke and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Ah, uh, from diesen apartment. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there. Teddy, you really are amazing. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Ah, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? <laughs> Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? You're saying he beat his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Ah, uh, well, it happened so long ago. My memory's kind of fuzzy, you know. Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. A chief of moons has returned to the group thanks to Teddy. And you've taken another step tower to the truth. Okay, it gets better back off with them social link rank from true uh from 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 judgment of all yeah. Try level now. Seekers of Truth Social Link has reached level 7. Your power to create personas of the judgment account has grown. The damn bitch. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Mmm. Hurt me, dog. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? It was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. <laughs> Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye, but it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. Um, nee, ist schon nicht gut. Ich dachte, dass mir erst jetzt seine Name bekannt vorkommt. Aber da habe ich mich vor, habe ich weil habe ich mich vertan. So. She fell in. <laughs> wow! So people can go completely inside!
Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff, her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her, and then that bitch. What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. High school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. 